Hello, and welcome to Tech Latest from Nikkei Asia, where we bring you fresh updates from the Asian tech sector. I'm your new host, Shotaro Tani, and in this week's episode, we dive into whether China can make its own ASML, a company that is integral to the global semiconductor supply chain. With me to discuss the topic is Cheng Ting Fang, or Annie as we call her, our resident chip expert from the Taipei Bureau, who is with me in Tokyo for this episode. Annie, welcome to the show and welcome to Tokyo. Thank you very much for having me and nice to see you in Tokyo. Yeah, definitely. So Annie, um, you've obviously written this wonderful piece about China's ambitions to create its own ASML, but can you just explain to the listeners the importance of ASML to the global chip industry? Um, Normally, people know that ASML is from the Netherlands and then for like Europe, ASML is very important and people normally know that it do uh, chip making equipment and probably industry people know that it's doing lithography and then but uh, it's very important because it's the world's largest uh, semiconductor equipment maker by both revenue and market cap and it is also the only uh, supplier for making the EUV machine, uh, extreme ultraviolet lithography machine, which is critical for producing those cutting edge chips, such as like AI processors and your iPhone processors by TSMC, by Intel, by Samsung, and all those like advanced memories. So uh, when it comes to that, ASML is the only one. And then Globally, you only see three lithography machine makers, that is Japan's Nikon and Canon, and also ASML from the Netherlands. And then that is a very critical step uh, in making computer chips. Gotcha, gotcha. And what what exactly is lithography? What is it? And why is it so hard to do? Why are there only a handful of companies? Uh, actually, in chip making, uh, like creating these like modern and cutting edge chips, like those processors uh, for your iPhone or like NVIDIA's GPU for AI computing, uh, require really thousands of steps uh, and the layers in the chip manufacturing. Uh, it's really like building a skyscraper, but at a very small scale, like a nanometer scale. So, and the chip uh, manufacturing, including many, many steps. But among all these steps, uh, most industry experts see optical lithography as the most important one because that's the step when all the light source, such as the EUV, is used to project or print the chip design onto the wafer. So uh, so lithography basically define how small and uh, how detailed these chip features can be printed on the wafer. So also it involves the most number of the steps. Uh, and also it accounts for the highest spending in overall uh, chip equipment. Uh, so long story short, it play a major role in defining how powerful and advanced chip can be. Got it, got it. And so... You know, why why does China want to make its own ASML? Can't it just buy ASML machinery and bring it to China? Or what's what's you know, what's stopping them from doing that and why why does it want to make its own ASML? Because China also wants to advance its own uh chip production and they want to have their own uh local chip production. But back in uh, 2019, China tried to buy its very first EUV lithography machine from ASML. But the deal did not go through because of U.S. pressure already from then. And since then, you can see a lot of uh, like Chinese tech companies such as Huawei or SMIC, uh, China's top chip maker, have been put onto the U.S. entity list, which limit their uh, access to uh, advanced chip making tools. Uh, as a workaround, SMIC, with the help of Huawei, they did use the older generation of the DUV deep ultraviolet uh, tools to produce uh, advanced chips. But that's still uh, like not that helpful because the quality and the yield produced by older generations is not that good. So uh, that is still a very critical, like the weak point of them. And so why has China thus far been unable to make its own ASML? Do they not have the technical capabilities or what's what's holding them back? 
Mm-hmm. I think it's not only China. Countries like U.S. and other cheap economies, such as Taiwan and the South Korea, cannot build their own lithography tool,、uh, and then they don't have their ASML as well. And so, over the past twenty-five years, actually, there were、uh, more lithography tool makers, and ASML was very small by then. But over time, ASML built this very strong partnership. With its key clients such as TSMC and optic makers such as Zeiss, and now work with thousands of global suppliers, key Japanese companies such as JSR, Kyocera,、uh, Hoya are also part of the lithography、uh, ecosystem. So in the past,、uh, countries didn't feel the need to build this self-reliant supply chain. No one expect that、uh, chips. And chip making、uh, machines, or even raw materials like、uh, like rare earth, could become weapons in this tech war, right? So、uh, it used to be quite simple. You just go over there and buy whatever the component you need and build your、uh, device.、Uh, like for example, Huawei used to use all the like top suppliers by Apple before they being cut off. So basically,、um, ASML has a massive head start in all of this. Compared to other companies in China before the U.S. export control, they could you know, just go and buy the ASML machines. But because of the export controls, they can't do that anymore. They want to make it, but they don't just have that capacity nor speciality to to make the machines. Is that the right way of、um, thinking about this? Right. I I mean, previously they don't see the need. But basically, why is it so difficult to、uh, build such as like the EUV machines, for example? Actually, even for ASML, it took them twenty years to start from the idea、wow. to really put into the market use. And you see, like Nikon and then Canon already give up and drop out of the market of the EUV. And then, so you see how much resources need to put in, and most industry experts、uh, call that it's the most complex machine ever built. It's tough because it combines like advanced optics, powerful lasers、uh, to create a very stable light source, and ultra precise engineering and mechanics to handle like masks or and the wafers, and all of that need to be operated inside a vacuum. Environment and all of that need to be perfectly put together. So you see how much expertise is like all the different expertise from all different parts of the world. Got it. Got it.、Um, and so, how how close is China to now making these one of these advanced lithography machines that you know maybe can be on par with ASML or the Japanese、um, machine makers? Is it still? Quite far, or is it actually closer than people think?、Um, can can it actually get there?、Um, I think you had a quote in your article from a former U.S. senior administration official saying that you know the worst case scenario is that Chinese toolmakers become not only domestically competitive but even internationally competitive. She said, you know, it's coming, right? So, what's your view on you know their progress so far and their future going forward? Maybe let's go back to a bit of the background. In 2023, U.S.、Uh, banned all the export of the chip making machines、uh, to make like advanced chips、uh, to China. It also、uh, like push allies like Japan and the Netherlands to pose similar rules. So, but that led to a wave of like stockpiling of like these machines in China. So between 2020 and 2024, China actually bought a、uh, 34. Billion worth of chip making machine from Japan alone, and the very they are fearing about these、uh, restrictions. So these Chinese chip makers began turning to domestic tools.、Um, those are like previously may sound second tier. This shift start a few years ago, but is now becoming like. Real in many parts of the chip making process, like etching or like polishing or cleaning,、uh, Chinese、uh, equipment vendors have made some、uh, progress. So,、um, unlike the global industry practice, where like new machine vendors only got like two to three chances to prove themselves that they are capable of doing things. Uh, Chinese chip makers often give these local suppliers unlimited、uh, trial runs. 
um, even if it means lower production quality, but they are facing this survival battle. Maybe they will be cut off tomorrow. Nobody knows. But overall, I would say that the sacrifice still remain a very weak point because uh, China is still stockpiling whatever they can. Um, they have their own company called SMEE uh, for there for like already 20 years. But its machine are like quite limited in using like actual fabs. But now it's different character are coming, jumping in like Huawei is as stepping up the efforts to help all of this. And we see how big the local government's initiative in backing of this. And then also the uh, research institute all come in. So maybe this time could be the slightly different, but at this point, it's still very difficult to determine like how far away they are. A hypothetical question, but suppose China does eventually become able to make lithography machines on par with ASML. Um, what what happens then? What happens when China achieves a full self sufficiency in chip making? Oh, I think maybe that's still a bit far away and when it co- talk about like fully self-reliant meaning that you need to produce everything really locally that's really uh, still uh, quite challenging because most of the machines although I mentioned that Chinese machine suppliers they've already made great uh, progress however their performance is actually l- still lagging behind of Tokyo Electron or Applied Materials, just they need to try it out. And, but down the road, uh, like when China eventually reach a level on par of SML, basically maybe at that point, uh, semiconductor manufacturing might already become quite standardized. And the more uh, like a display or textile or even like steel industries, um, it already become a mature, a stable industry rather than the one with constant uh, breakthroughs. So some industry executives and the long time market analysis uh, like believe that eventually China will come up with something that could be good enough, maybe not as competitive as ASML, but still better than having nothing. Got it. That's that's wonderful, Annie. Um, thank you very much. Yes, I recommend everyone to check out our uh, Can China Build Its Own ASML project. It also has some great visuals and make this technical topic much easier to understand. And thanks so much for having me. Yeah, it's definitely a difficult topic to uh, to grasp your head around without the visuals. So um, we'll put a link to the article in the podcast page. Um, so do check that out. That's it for this week's episode. You can read more of Annie's story as well as the latest Asian tech news on our website, asia.nikkei.com. You can also subscribe to our weekly Tech Asian newsletter, which will be delivered to your inbox every Thursday. Thank you for tuning in and see you in our next episode.